Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 154 and 155. Problem number 154, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. Both, both of these problems, 154 and 155, they're quite straightforward, quite simple problems. It says 1 8 the sum of two numbers is 9. So that's our first equation. Let's call these two numbers x and y. Let's call them x and y. So if you did take their sum, it says 1 8. 1 8 of their sum. So if we take an 8 of that, that equals to 9. That's our first equation. Let's, they go on to tell us that 1 13th of their difference. So if you take their difference, x minus y, and if you take a 1 13th of that, that difference we are told is 2. Let's get rid of this 8 from the bottom by multiplying both sides of the equation by 8. Multiply this side of the equation by 8. Multiply that side of the equation by 8. So the 8 goes away. And what we end up is that x plus y equals 8 times 9, which is 72. 72. How do we know that? Because 10 8s would have been 80. We don't have 10 8s. We have 9 8s. So 80 minus 8 is 72. Let's move on here. Multiply both sides of the equation here by 13 to get rid of this 13 from the bottom. Multiply this side of the equation by 13 and that side of the equation by 13. So the 13 goes away from here and appears there. And that gives us x minus y equals 2 times 13, which is 26. Let's put this equation on the bottom here. x minus y equals 26. As you can see, these are about as simple as they can get. Add the two equations, so y is going to go away, and x plus x is 2x equals 6 plus 2 is 8, and then 9, 98. Multiply, divide both sides by 2, and we'll have the x by itself. x will have to equal 98 divided by 2. How many 2's does 9 have? 9 has, 9 has 4 2's. The remaining one goes and joins the 8 and becomes 18, and 18 has 9 2's. 49. x equals 49. Now we have to figure out the y. Either one of these two equations will do. Let's use the first equation, okay? Right here, the first equation here. The first equation tells us that, it, oh, we can just use right here. Why, why, rewrite the, why, why rewrite the bloody thing? Let's just use this. x we just found out is 49. So 49 minus y equals 26, which means y must be 49 minus 26. 49 minus 26 gives us 3, 23. That's it. x equals 49, y equals 23. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Next problem tells us one fifty-five. It tells us that one fifty-five. A third of the sum, a third of the sum of two numbers is 12. And five times their difference is 70. 5 times their difference is 70. Question is, what are the two numbers? Let's do them here. Again, two straightforward sentences will give us two straightforward equations. The first sentence tells us a third of the sum of two numbers is 12. So we take their sum, let's call the numbers x and y. x plus y will represent their sum. And if you were to take the third of that, that we are told is 12. Before we go any more, let's multiply both sides by 3. Multiply this side by 3. Multiply this side by 3, so that the 3 disappears. And the fourth equation that we get is that their sum must be 36. They go on to tell us that 5 times their difference is 70. So if you take the 5 times their difference, it's 70. We are not interested in 5 times their difference, we want to find out their difference. So divide both sides by 5, 5 is going to drop out and x minus y equals 
70 divided by 5, how many, how many 5 does 7 have? 7 has 1 5. 7 has 1 5. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 0 and becomes 20. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 0 becomes 20 and 20 has 4 5s. 4 5s are 20. In other words, the difference is 14. Their sum is 36. Let's put this equation here. x minus y must be 14. Add the two equations, y they're going to drop out, and x plus x equals 2x, must equal 6 plus 4 is 10, carry 1, and oh, it's 50, x equals 25. x equals 25. If x equals 25, we can use it here. So 25 minus y equals 14, which in turn implies that y, y, if you were to bring the y on that side, it will be 25 minus 14. 25 minus 14 which is 11. y must be 11 and x must be 25. That's all for today. Bye now.